Welcome to High Talks with Mujtaba Ahmed and Himanshu Gupta. Once more, once again, आपके प्यारे आपके चहिते आ चुके हैं. And today we are redirecting the whole High Talks much. Yes. And how are we doing this? Tell us. So we've changed the dynamic of how we do High Talk interviews, yes. and we've got on a very special guest, a very talented one, Oof. and a good friend of the show. Yes, good friend of the show, good friend of ours. Ah, uh, is that intro enough? I mean, she, she should do the talking. Good, good point. Good point. I agree. I agree. So welcome, Hia Gupta. Uh, you must be on one of the sides, <laughs> but in front of us right now. Thank, <laughs> thank you so much for having me here, guys. I'm so excited. It's been so long, and I'm so excited to be a part of this. And I'm glad you guys chose me. <laughs> so it should be a process. <laughs> I love how you went like I'm glad you guys chose me. Which is kind of rare. कोई तो बुलाओ podcast ले. Well, Hia. Uh, well, okay. Let me start off with how I know Hia. Mm-hmm. And then you go with how you know. Yeah. <laughs> then Hia, you go with like you know how you know us. It's gonna be the same. Uh. Oh, yeah. Good point. Okay. Then Hia, you tell us how did, what like how did you meet me and him or whatever. So uh Himanshu I have known you for what more than 3 years now so yes. we Himanshu and I basically met in our first year in BBA and then we grew up to be one of the closest friends in college we were in the same friend circle we used to hang out all the times and we have made a lot of lot of fond memories together I'm and the best I the have best after me sure <laughs> and <laughs> and um i met uh, muj uh, through him anshu when we were playing uh, a game of among us when it used to be popular and now we sound lame because we used to do that <laughs> but um it was it was i promise it was cool that time and yeah that that's where i met muj and then um when muj and him anshu started high tournaments uh, i i used to talk to them about it a lot so that's how we grew closer and high tournaments has always been very special to me and i have i feel like i have uh, seen how high tournaments began in the beginning i have seen both himanshu and muj put so much of their heart and soul into it so i am very very excited to be here i love it in that time well you see my confidence so much i love it well uh for sure yeah you were the first consultant we brought on for high tournaments <laughs> remember like when we were like how do we actually approach a influencer or like you know cuz that is how we doing word mm-hmm. so sorry bola so like you know you were the first person asked like fuck i mean i have to contact her cuz she is the one to go word cuz to be honest from first year like like you know cuz we were there together for like 2 years i have seen every side of her dude like she's the most dedicated <laughs> the most Uh, look, okay, it's remote dedication. She's the most fun, funny, and <laughs> the best person to be around if you want to have a great time. If you want to party, she's the one. And if you want to actually pass your exams, again she's the one. Because <laughs> she's just sit right in front of me in every exam. <laughs> so she's oh my part. God. I would say like not partly. She has the complete like you know soul. Uh, she's the sole reason why. I passed first. Um, <laughs> he's he's exaggerating. That's that's not true. But uh, yes, we had a lot of fun giving <laughs> exams together. No, no, that's not true. But we had yeah, giving exams was a lot of fun. We have been called out for uh, cheating during the exams a lot of times <laughs> by the invigilators. But um, it's all very funny now. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, but degree will get us all questions. <laughs> 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 One degree will get us. I think I'm okay with it. <laughs> Yes, I think I think I think we should not show this to Sonali, ma'am, and all of us, the rest of our teachers. Yeah. Okay. Until we get our degree. You can't get away with that. No, you can't. I think it's good enough. So much. Let's start off with the. I wouldn't say it's an interview. I would say it's more like a chill conversation that we're having. Of course. Which we yeah. ideally normally also have. So yeah, tell the audience. Like you know, obviously, I told the audience a lot about you. But from your perspective, थोड़ा बताइए हमारी audience को कि आप कौन हैं. Okay, so if uh, I my name is Hia Gupta, I was born and brought up in Delhi actually. Oh my God, I feel like I'm giving one of those resume talks. But um, anyways, <laughs> you just said South Delhi. Uh, I. <laughs> 
but um, right now I'm here in Valencia, Spain right now and I am doing my masters in uh, at the Berkeley College of Music and my course is called um, Masters in Global Entertainment and Music Business. So um, basically everyone, anyone who knows me, I'm pretty sure Himanshu knows me that um, ever since I was a kid I have been involved in a lot of different bunch of activities whether it was debating, sports, um, whether it was art, whether it was um, anything. But um, one of the things that I've always known as a child is that um, I am very passionate about music and that I want to end up in the music industry. That's where I want to make a career. And um, as, as I grew up, uh, I grew up and I made friends, I socialized, I... I actually met a lot of artists and I could see a lot of key problems in the industry that artists are not being paid, artists are um, not being treated the way they're supposed to, good talent is not being signed. So um, I think at a very early age, I decided that I wanted to enter the music industry and this and Berkeley has been my dream college for as long as I can remember. Actually, the day I had my interview, I remembered there two of you guys, two of you called me <laughs> and we talked about how my interview went and I was so nervous. I, I think I told you guys, I'm, there's no way I'm going to get it and everything. But um, I guess I got lucky. The stars were in my favor Do you and now what I'm here at Berkeley. Do you remember what we said that day when you told us your interview didn't go well? <laughs> Oh, you guys said a lot of things. What part exactly? <laughs> <laughs> I told you, getting in for sure. But it was, it was like you always say that much. Actually, yeah. And, and you all nervous. It's not like chill, Maro. Yeah, we told you, you want <laughs> this. We, I just asked one thing. Did you tell them that you know you Himachu Gupta? Because <laughs> that was the way to go. And you told me you did. So obviously we're getting in, dude. You know Himachu Gupta. Dude, if I so told them I knew you, if I if I told them I knew you, they would have made me faculty or something, dude. Like <laughs> <laughs> they would have just promoted me straight. <laughs> like she got two degrees and came. <laughs> if, if I told them I worked for high tournaments, <laughs> yeah, they were they would have already graduated me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You should do but 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 you should come to Spain and you should tell them that yourself, right? Well, uh, definitely, we'll <laughs> but to be honest, like, you know, the guidance you gave us in the start, uh, we have worked with, I would say, 40 influencers in the past wow. year. Yeah, so every tip you gave actually worked out. <laughs> okay, so I'm glad we took up everything. We're like, <laughs> and yeah, we I'm glad it worked out. And I think 10 or 15 orgs, mm-hmm. so organizations as well. So we treat everyone. That is, that is amazing. Influencer. Influencer, obviously, and I think in this age and day, it's very important the power of influencers. So, great job, kudos, guys. Yeah, as you said, like right now, also, yeah, he, uh, you see that they're un- like you know, all these uh, musicians they're underpaid, they are not being managed properly. The same thing happens in the gaming industry, also. And what I realized was these gamers, or like you know, with musicians, also, these guys are artists in the end, art. These artists are just meant to like you know flow like jo bhi unko milta hai kar nahi kar mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. these guys need to be managed also properly mm-hmm. and that's what like you know you taught us that time also which was like a year back and we just continue the same thing we were like okay what can you bring to the table mm-hmm. which will actually enhance their experience and I think that is what you're gonna do as well once you enter the industry like you know properly after you graduate I guess absolutely yeah? absolutely and I think that gaming is such a new and upcoming industry and this is something that we face in the music industry also a lot that it's very unstructured so um I think it's very nice that two young men like yourselves are um have started this company to give the industry to give the gaming industry a proper structure and to give it some sort of um I don't know some sort of guidance that it needs in such early stages so it's great. I mean, I I always look up to entrepreneurs, and I'm I'm very I I must say that I'm very very impressed. Dude, I'm just gassing. How far you men? <laughs> you call us men. I'm so men. Young 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 so I want to ask you, so when you graduate, right, a year from now, a year from now, right? Uh, yeah, uh, in about 10 months, yes. 
So when you graduate, what type of impacts are you looking to actually make? How would you see an ideal person or an ideal graduate in your case having an impact on the industry? Uh, that's a very good question. Um, so what what I what I would has basically always been in my mind is that um, the 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 reason also I got into the industry besides of course my love for music is um is to help out artists is to find gaps in the industry and fill them because every great idea comes from filling a problem or fixing some sort of problem so definitely i do not want to end up in a 9 to 5 job sitting at my desk making the big bucks even if i have to compromise that and if i can actually sign artists if i can, if i can actually give the artists uh, that really affect me that have changed my life if i can promote artists like that that change other people's lives that change other people's mood that help uplift the society in general i think that's what matters leaving an impact at the end of the day because um i was actually doing a project uh with one of the um artists over here his name is brother gabriel and he talked about how his music is like a gift to society how he wants to prevent mental health problems how he wants to prevent suicide through his music and everything so i guess that it's it's not just about making music that you know you get drunk and wasted on and everything it's about music <laughs> it's about um making music that actually has an impact and besides that what i think besides the artist thing what i think is that um the there are a lot of challenges that are upcoming on us that are really heavy on us right now like the collapse of the climate right now is something that all of us are should be very concerned with and i definitely once i graduate i see myself uh, working on projects or starting businesses that can help prevent this or can help um curb this problem to some extent i know i'm just like one person and there's not much i can do about it um but uh, definitely i would i want to align my goals whatever my professional goals are with whatever i want to personally achieve too mm-hmm. so i think that's always been uh, my my idea my my vision behind whatever i do is to align my professional personal and um moral goals in a way so yeah that's 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 yes, how i see it super hero <laughs> <laughs> before she was a super hero I... by helping me in exams <laughs> now she's going to save the entire world to <laughs> <So> music <laughs> yeah. no music or whatever yeah. but by the way one person like you know it doesn't stop like you know when you said like you know ki i'm just one person I don't think you should think of it that way. I think you're the first person starting it. Bro, Gandhi ji, he started with a thing. So many people joined in. You start a thing, we'll join it. <laughs> and yeah, we have you, you high guys. High players joining in. Don't worry. High players, yeah. Get your high players. I'll get my musicians. It'll be fun. We'll all save the world together. For sure. So, follow up question to that. So here, you mentioned that you want to create an impact. uh and you want to create it for these artists so one of the biggest things for artists is getting a record label deal right but these record labels they don't necessarily care too much about this right they they care about getting out bangers getting out those streams lit music videos getting those guys in concert so do you have any plans uh because one way i see it is setting up your own record label company that you know fosters this type of talent that helps promote it because currently at least from what i know all the major labels they don't look at that they really don't care i mean if you see in the music videos itself they're driving fast mm-hmm. cars they're burning rubber yeah. so it, it, it's none of that's happening same thing everywhere right so is that something that you've ever considered before but the mushtaba is a rapper that's why he's so concerned <laughs> oh <laughs> wow that, maybe maybe maybe, maybe we can maybe we can hear you ra- uh, rap at the end but uh, <laughs> that's a, that's a <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Yes, Himanshu. Yes, but uh, that's that's actually a very good insight. Um, I I would just like to point that out. And absolutely, yes, that is one of the problems that I first recognized in the industry that artists, especially upcoming new artists, don't get record deals. They don't get signed into record labels. So my specialization in Berkeley is actually something called A and R, and A and R is known as artist and repertoire. So basically what ANR agents do is that they work for record labels and they're basically like talent scouts. 
So basically, my job, if I become an A and R agent later in my life, would be to go out to find, go out, find talent, sign them to the record label, and help them develop their artistic identity, help them develop their sound, help them de- develop their marketing skills, help them develop their stage craft. So that is exactly what my job would be to go out there and find talent. Now, what you brought up about the issue that, like you know, these major labels don't care about the artisan and everything, and you know, there should be um, more, f- more indie labels. Uh, that that that's what we call them. More indie labels that should be present. Um, I have thought about actually. I thought about starting my own record label when I was um, just nineteen, mm-hmm. and but um, I have realized this that. Um, smaller labels like upcoming labels especially do not have the same resources for example sony would have or universal would have because a label is much more than just a recording studio it is a it is a social network it is a cultural network and this industry is based on networking contacts and definitely indie labels do not have the budget for it so immediately what my step would be is to probably work for a label as an a and r agent as someone who is going out there developing talent and signing that new talent and getting their voice out there so that is exactly exactly what i what i want to do and um so what basically other a and r agents are doing at these major record labels is that um they're signing artists who have the most tiktok views or mm-hmm. who have the most likes on their video or whoever says the most misogynist most inappropriate stuff in their music but um i do not want to be like that i am actually looking for raw pure talent which can actually make an impact in the world so definitely that is something that concerns me also very gravely and that's why i'm doing my i'm specializing uh, specializing in what i'm specializing in so mm very cool very yeah, cool it's, it's <laughs> <even>. <laughs> i love it <laughs> uh bro that inspired me too much <laughs> i was very gas before then now, uh, the much much should i should i should i be looking at signing you also as a rapper <laughs> <laughs> much offers coming on i'll send my audio files through <laughs> yeah i'm you're already getting offers by anr agents that's that's very <laughs> that's a great start <laughs> yes much upcoming rap up let's go what's your rap name much <laughs> <laughs> i thought about this yeah. <laughs> Bajwan's actual name is Mujtabai. Awesome. Okay. I know. I knew. <laughs> okay. I don't know, dude. I feel like a lot of people don't know because, like, you know, every time I like, you know, the clients, yeah. When I get on the call with yeah. them, all I keep saying is, "Hi, Muj. What's up, Muj? Oh, yeah, Muj is joining the call." And I remember this is one guy. <laughs> so uh, Muj joins the call. He's like, "Hi, Muj, sir." <laughs> <laughs> Well, you guys better hope he's not watching this video. <laughs> ah, dude, it's chill. We didn't uh, take the money. <laughs> yeah, if you're coming on a call with us for like a deal and you don't know our names, I don't think that's the way to go. Which is my name? Though. Yeah. I don't know, but it was quite funny. Yeah? <laughs> that's that's very that like cute. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, so, but if you guys know, yeah. So I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead. I'm saying so. Definitely, if you guys were um. Know any artists who want to be signed? Mm-hmm. Himanshu, if you're considering a career in music, please let me know. Mujh, we'll drop a beat. <laughs> drop a beat. <laughs> yeah, my laptop over here. I'll drop in a song. Yeah, yeah. bro, I'll 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 invest in your ha- uh, label. Don't worry. Let's go. In my label, okay. Yeah. We'll 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 definitely start a music slash gaming label together. Can I think we'll be one of those. Can we call it high label? <laughs> <laughs> Can we call it high label? <laughs> I think I think that's very, I think that's very misdirecting in the. They do, but not like that. Wait, that's very misdirecting in the music industry. <laughs> yeah, of course, uh, all labels have names. Yeah. yeah. Wait, that's what? No, I think high label is a very good name. <laughs> no okay. one has label in their name <laughs> when it's a label. We have it. We have it. Or do we call it high level? Okay. <laughs> high level. <laughs> that's what that means. <laughs> okay, my bad. Continue. So so yeah, so very cool. So you have a good idea or solid idea rather of what you want to do, and why you chose out of so you had so many passions, and why music was the number one, why you're doing it, and what you want to do, which is amazing. A lot of people don't have that, so that's something mm-hmm. really solid to have. So one question, like, and 
this one is like I typically ask this to quite a few people who have a change in career paths. So you did BBA right at the start. Yeah. So from there, why did you make the decision then to switch <laughs> to music? Mm-hmm. And you know, if you could go back in time, would you switch it up otherwise? Directly start with the music, uh, you know, uh, uh, course in music uh, rather than doing BBA at the start. Um. So uh, that's I've actually been asked that question for the first time, but um, I would say that I've known that I've always wanted to do music ever since I was a kid. So even when I came into BBA, I knew that ultimately it's music music business that I want to do. But it's the sheer lack of undergraduate music business courses in our country, and in fact, pretty much in the rest of the world, that did not give me. I had to go ahead with business. and um since my course is music business it's uh, involved with the business side of the music industry distribution marketing um record business anr artist management whatever so it does have a lot of those aspects that i have learned in my bba and um like we have a copyright class we have a finance class and these are things that my my bba my undergraduate degree has actually helped me i can apply those concepts everywhere so i i don't really think that it's it's like it has to be definitely you know what sort of degree you're doing it's it's basically what you learn and how well you're able to apply it and how well you're able to like you know extract and exploit every opportunity you have so even when i was in bba himanshu knows this um i was uh, i was into something called artist relations guest relations for my um, college festival yeah, yeah. so guest relations was basically concerned with inviting guests and um i didn't really care much about the tv stars or like the movie stars or anything but um artists like the musicians part is and the bands is something that really impre- interested me so um i focused most of my energies over there i was i the next year i became the head of uh, guest relations and um i was managing backstage both of the years so i was i actually learned a lot during there my time and in my third year i worked with um this distributor called cd baby i'm uh, it's, a, it's a pretty popular distributor and i also did a music business course in india while i was still doing my bba so yes i would say that um if i could go back in time um i wouldn't really change that the fact that i did my, my bba or anything because it was still a learning opportunity and um everything i did during those years everything i have done up till now has what has landed me over here so i wouldn't change it at all definitely I love the answer. I love the answer. I was like, how much you regret meeting me? <laughs> of course, and I. Yes, sir. I I met him on shoe. That's the yeah. most important part, of course. <laughs> so by the way, first year itself, so she was uh, handling like really big artists. So we have this like you know our like we have a five day fest or six day fest, and at the end we have like a big ass uh, this thing concert kind of thing. And uh, which was that uh, band? I think Yellow Diaries. Um. No, it was the other one. As we keep searching. Okay, yeah, those guys. So now these guys are sitting uh, in their backstage room. Okay, I'm just going here. I'm like, yeah. I don't know who are they. Okay, I don't know. I don't. I don't know anything about them. I'm just like, yeah, I'm gonna go and speak to them, man. Kuch karna. He was like, okay, listen, you have five minutes. Here's my badge. Go in and come back in five minutes. I'm like done. Now, ideally, if a person's going in, he would probably like you know try to get the autograph or a picture with them. Man, the jacket. So, guys, where you are being? He started to be in there. I I still have a recording. I remember Ashwath was with me, and he has a the recording was something. Like, okay, so where you guys uh, like you know based? We would show the video here, but I don't think we should. But yeah, I'm like, where you guys based? They're like, you know, bro. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, never heard of you. <laughs> Um, it was it was actually it was not even actually backstage that it was it was it it was the rooms so he manchu basically went into their rooms outside their room and he was Do smoking up there. <laughs> Listen, I I didn't I thought they would have a story like you know one guy from Hyderabad, one from Delhi, something something like that. Yeah, but some people in Pune say. And the my listen to be honest, like I it was a very honest mistake because like. I'm not in that. I'm not mm-hmm. into that kind of music. What uh, genre they were they from? 
Um, I think they are an indie alternative rock band. Yeah. Exactly. So that's not like completely my way, but like to be honest, when they came on stage, they were really good. I enjoyed the music, mm-hmm. but like not something I'd really go for. But yeah, like you know, that was one incident which was like crazy, <laughs> and I'm quite funny. Let's see if I can find the video. Uh, we'll show it in the middle of the video. Okay. Yeah, we're just like in blooper reels. Yeah, a blooper. Uh, <laughs> And yeah, I think outro ke baad, outro ke baad, whoever stays yeah. till the end can see it. <laughs> so guys, do uh, do watch this thing till the end. It'll be really funny. Okay, yeah. So obviously, like you know, it's lovely that like you know you don't actually regret anything you've done till now, and you actually like as you said like you know you exploited every opportunity you get you got, and that is what I also like you know tend to do, which is what Mujal also I think tends to do. and i would tell everyone ki like you know whatever opportunity you're getting in life don't think about the fact that like you know oh i couldn't do that rather what you have just exploit that get whatever you can out of it so uh great one by the way okay so here what is the next question <laughs> yes it's the last question actually yes go for it so here okay very excited what can we see from you in the next 10 months what will the world see from here gupta in the next 10 months after next 10 months yeah in the next 10 months uh during the time okay so before you graduate what's going to oh. happen what are you planning to do and how you plan to use this time to make the most of it how i'm planning to use that time wow i have not given that a thought but um All I know is that um the this opportunity that I've been given right now is something that will not does not come across a lot of times so I am going to use my time learn as much as I can I'm in Spain so travel as much as I can have as much fun as I can um meet network with musicians come up with great ideas make friends and contacts that will last me throughout my life in the industry and yeah that's that's pretty much it right now i'm just trying to um soak in the moment keep up with everything keep up with all my tasks and besides besides like that remember that i'm here to make a career to make a difference so definitely work towards those goals be in touch with you lovely people so that we can come up with some sort of <laughs> comprehensive business plan soon in the future but um definitely i i want to ut- utilize this time to figure out the next step for my career to um and yeah just have the best time here and learn uh, as much as i can perfect acha here last thing uh, if there is a sm- if there is a kid out there who's like 18 okay any vibe, okay. any work anything you'd like to tell that person who's like a little bit who, who has a little interest in music doesn't know if he can do something out of it cuz most of people don't okay any last words for that person and then we can like you know get the outro on what we are all right so um if there there are any young musicians young aspiring musicians out there um i would say that first of all um it's it is an industry where you will receive a lot of backlash you will receive you will face a lot of failure but um remember that failure is not the end it's it is a part of growing up it is a part of learning especially in this industry so you can just have to dust yourself off you have to um take so you have to set yourself a vision that okay in the next 6 months next one year this is what i'm going to put out this is what my artist image should look like this is what con- this is what i want to contribute and take baby steps towards it every day you don't have to figure it out all in a day but as long as you're doing one little thing every day that's what makes it count and um never ever give up on music because a lot of great artists do that a lot of people with a lot of potential do that and it's like it's very very exhausting to be in this business but um you always will find people Hey, last two. Okay, yeah, bro. I but like you know, the <laughs> was like, don't stop with the failure. Mm. I personally believe when you actually fail, that's the start. That's where you are starting your life, and you got to do something great. Well, uh, yeah. Thank you so much for coming on High Talks 
I know we are really blessed that we could have you as one of our guests and I don't think we could have found anyone else that this motivating like you know at least for the like you know motivating as well as like you know a visionary for the music industry you definitely have a vision you are personally very gassed and I think you're going to do something crazy out of this and if you ever need help high tour mix is there manchur mix is there and our army of high players is there sab ko le ke aa jayenge definitely um thank you guys so much for having me and like forever whoever is listening i'm pretty sure that both of these young gentlemen gentlemen i'm great these um young gentlemen are going to do great things and it's a great time to get on with high tournaments it's a great time for um the gaming business because that's something actually you know it's it's one of our courses over here it's called scoring for games not the scoring you guys are thinking of <laughs> <laughs> that's like the football game basically games. finding <laughs> which find basically finding music for the gaming industry and that's something which is very close to us as music industry specialists also and yes i hope that we can um stay in touch and we can talk very soon and we can soon meet in spain i can meet both of you very lovely young gentlemen in spain <laughs> the and, next high box um, we we'll do it in spain okay we we'll can do it yes absolutely cuz i'm absolutely. sure by the time we you meet you love many more stories to tell about the industry about what you're doing definitely and i think this is one of the like you know i would say a whole series of podcast you can do with uh, this thing like you know yeah definitely <laughs> so i love how the beginning has started and let's see how it goes <laughs> all right Perfect. thank you yeah thank you for joining us thank you so much thank you guys all right guys so that was here gupta with us uh, we'll be linking her instagram her facebook <laughs> her <laughs> whatsapp number <laughs> down in the description do uh, if you didn't get inspired do drop her a text drop her a dm and i tell if you are trying to get into the industry and you require some help for sure and i'm sure she'll be happy to help right mm-hmm. mushroom if you are artist looking to get signed mm-hmm. and if you're doing some big things you know who to reach out to much will be reaching out for sure <laughs> and like you know i'll try to record something if i am also good then you know i'll send <laughs> my audio files uh well this was our first uh, high talks with a very close friend of ours and who we are inspired by every single day absolutely uh, we will be bringing on more friends and i hope we can inspire you guys on a regular basis from now on uh, if you didn't like this video do drop a like subscribing is free guys so do drop a subscribe and comment if there's any specific field like you know you'd want like you know us to look out for so we can get our friends from those specific fields because to be honest mushta bhai and i combined sab ko jaate hain don't worry kya chahiye and finally guys get the notification bell on so every time you do post notification aayega guys what's the big deal and if you guys don't like it you guys can always like you know and click it's fine so yeah thank you so much thank you guys bye thank you guys